This is Shax here and I'm going to show you how you can create a particular part using the mechanical design and part design. So what we are going to design today here is this particular part where we have 140 rectangle and we have a padding of 45 and this particular part can be done with many ways. Either you can sketch this particular profile and give a pad of 40 or you can uh, do a padding you, you can do a padding for this 40 100 rectangle and give a padding of 45 after that a pocket of uh, 30 and uh, 40 and here again a chamfer so i'll do it with the longer uh, you know not a shorter way this is a shorter way and the other way is a longer way so i'll do it with both the ways uh, and i'll start with the longer way now so 40 and 100 so I'm going to select the sketch, click on the sketch, I'll give here 40 and uh, 100. I'll come out of the sketch and I'll give a padding of 45. So to know what is padding and uh, pocketing and all, you should refer to my previous video. And this video is for the people who have already referred my previous two videos. So. Again, here I need a shame for of how much? It is 20 and 45. So select this and give a shame for of uh, length 1 and length 2. Length 1 and length 2 <coughs> and give 45 and 20 here and give preview and see. So you have the shame for happening over here. So on the other side, you can see you can do the same method. So so that's done. So now select this particular face. You can do the pocketing over here or here. It's depending on you. So uh, you can select and give sketch and uh, you can use uh, project to 3D and uh, again what you can do refer the figure so it is 20 plus 15 that is 35 from one end. So select the line from here and uh, from the other end also it's 35 I'm doing it with a longer way because I want uh, my viewers to think in both the ways and see the possibilities of the software so as you can see here you got something like this so come out of the sketch and do the pocketing and uh, the pocketing length should be how much? It's uh, 25. So here 20, it's 45. So this should be 25. So I give here 25 and give preview and click OK. So this is how you created this one. Now let's see. Let's see how you can do it in the other way. Part design. Click OK. Select this and uh, just create the profile. OK. So it's 100 and uh, 45 like this okay so let me make the basement that is uh, well, let me just create here so this should be 50 I'm gonna mirror this so uh, 50 here and again 30 so 45 <coughs> So uh, something you can select the profile tool instead of uh, you know you can create like this and you can give the dimension slowly. Sorry. So here it's uh, 15 and uh, it's a 15 again over here. So 7.5. And uh, again, here it's uh, 20. So, uh, this is it. Now I'll show you how you can do the mirroring over here. So, select 1, 2. So this is not constrained. So, this should be 45. 
once all the things are constrained what will happen is it will be green and uh, nothing will move so here one two three four five and do mirroring in respect to this plane so once you come out of the sketch and if you give the padding you can uh, do a padding of 40 so this is it so I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, thank you